Just look at the muscles in my legs. Yes, siree. I was built for speed. Oh my God. The other animals living in the countryside were getting sick and tired of hers. Is it here? Never like your book. She loves that book. There is no one who can beat me, especially you. I'm the fastest one around, and I dare anyone to challenge me to a race. Wow, they're gonna race. I do, here. I do. I challenge you to a race. You? You have got to be kidding me. You are the slowest thing around except for snail. You know I'll surely win. You never know. Meet me here in one week at 7 a.m. sharp and we will race. Ready to beat you, tortoise. Ready to go to her. Let's do this. Ready, set, go! The hare took off in a flash. The tortoise took off. He took off as quickly as he could on his short legs. Chair for a few minutes before I cross the finish line to win the race. I can hear everyone cheering for me now. Hare wanted to take only a short nap, but minutes turned into hours. Tortoise continued to advance slowly and steadily, and before you know it... Oh, shucks. Here's Hare sleeping under that tree. He must have already won the race. Oh, well, I'm going to finish the race anyway because I'm no quitter. I'm no quitter. Line. I won! I won! I can't believe it! I was beat by a tortoise! Thank you! Thank you! You may not be the swiftest, fastest animal around, but I won anyway. I, I just didn't give up. I'm glad I trained so hard for the race. It really paid off. Well, Tortoise, I don't know how you beat the fastest rabbit in the whole countryside, but you did beat me fair and square. But hey, things could have been worse. I could have been beaten by a snail. Hey, Rabbit, I have a joke for you. Why was the rabbit so upset? Uh, I don't know, because he lost the race? No. Because he was having a bad hair day. <laughs> and so, that concludes the story of the tortoise and the hare. And the moral of the story is, if you persevere and try your best, and never, ever give up, you can succeed. <laughs>